Hello there. Mm -hmm. Good morning to you all. Uh, so I will talk about bottom-up strategy for link construction on-site implementation. I'm the main author, and the other authors, Flavio and, and Vitor, they are both professors of the uh, Scholar Polytechnic from Sao Paulo University. First, I will set the background. So this paper has uh, the aim to evaluate on-site implementations of link construction and using a bottom-up strategy where the workers themselves improve their own processes. It's kind of a collaborative, collaborative way. <coughs> All data were collected by studying a large water pipeline construction site in Brazil. It was a, a huge project, uh, a billion dollar project, and we had a, a, a lot of crews doing the same job all over again. So it was for a, a, a large water production system, a new one, the scope of the, of the construction of a pipeline, which has a diameter of 2.1 meters and the trains have 4 meters of depth. The construction site is composed by soil excavation, pipeline installation, welding, and soil backfill. So this is the background that, that, that the paper has, so we, we are at the same level. Normally, who's the one that decides for the lean construction implementation of the companies? We first thought that, of course, is the, the director of the, of the CEO. This is the person that wants to start a lean construction implementation on the companies. But has this person knowledge about lean? Does he know what he wants? Usually, we have this guy, right? This is the, the, the big boss. I mean, he, he's the one that, that in charge, but he has no experience of doing lean construction implementation. On this case, we had a different kind of the big boss. The big boss that had um, lean construction, uh, not lean construction, but lean manufacturing experience. So he, he claimed us to do a bottom-up strategy. But from the, really from the bottom. And how, how, I mean, we, we have two, the two ways of doing it. Have the top-down perspective strategy and the bottom-up. And I, I will clarify uh, in a very simple way what is the difference between them. When you have Top down, you can see if all the workers on the company were light, the light starts to get on few by few, one by one. And then you have in a universe of lights, just a couple of lights light on uh, in the beginning. But when you have a bottom up strategy, it's kind of like this. You light up you, uh, all the other lights at the same time, and then you have a different. Uh, you have a, a, a different approach. So the the, the people that is not. Uh, I'm sorry. The people that that is not used to or don't want to, kind of get pressured by all the other. Ones that wants lean construction, so it it kind of uh, set a new uh, uh, culture that all of people must follow. Otherwise, they will be out of the group. Well, what about the strategy that we had? Kaizen means continuous incremental improvement. And as Womack and Jones describes, the, the, there's two ways of doing improvements. This continuous incremental improvement and then the radical improvement. I'm going to talk only about continuous incremental improvement. And 
they, they said that this can lead to endless improvement. If you do it time over time, it can lead just to endless improvement. Okay? So what, what did we do? We developed a Kaizen form based on simplified data thinking method. And it was aimed for the foreman and, and their crew. So they can identify ways and make improvements to overcome that ways that they identify. And we did in a spontaneous improvement. We didn't force them to do an improvement. We just incentivized them. So, hey, you can do it. You, you have uh, a, a better daily work routines if you do some improvement. And somehow we will help you to, to do that. And, and with this form, we can get data collection for further analysis. And if you see, we have the ways identifications and problem solving techniques and, and the, the work cell unit identification of which format or doing which kind of activity. And so they, they, they could perform improvements on their own processes. And what, what I mean about this, if this guy has a, a problem or an issue of waste that he, uh, that he identified and he don't want to live with this anymore, he, he will somehow make an improvement. I, I, I brought a couple of ones so just to illustrate how, how, how is the level of this improvement. You can see this is, this is the pipe. Huge uh, one. We were in the left before the, the, the Skyzen improvement program. And then they, they built the right one. This is a, a tool so you can bend the pipe borders so it is easier to, to do the wheel of two pipes. We didn't ask them to do it. They just did, and this, they, they developed almost 10 of these for different kinds of, of pipelines building. You know, curves, ups and downs, different diameters, and everything. So they just did, like their own. We had another one. This is a lift hole on the left side. It's, it is fixed. Did it move by the right side? Now it moves. So these are small steps, small improvements that can um, reduce waste or even eliminate waste. We had for both of these activities, half of the time were um, we, we we managed to to in these both activities. Has left uh, half of the time of doing this, this same, the same uh, tasks, okay. And how this uh, uh, with this data collection of how many uh, uh, how many cages were made, we try to cross with some production and productivity rates, so we could see if is this getting or a construction better or not? Is, is this having some impact on our, our construction management? And then we find th these two these two graphics. You can see that in the left one we have the productivity labor rates, and then we cross with the number of Kaizen forms that we received. And the right one we have the production per day. And then with the same Kaizen forms we receive. So we can see that we are very, uh, we are more effect, uh, effective, have more efficiency. We, 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 we manage to load the, the, the productivity in labor hour units per meter, so they spend less labor hours to do the same work. Of course, it, it depends on a variety of factors, but it has
as a correlation. And the right one, you see that we get, we got a, a st more stabilized production. It also depends on a variety of, of, of factors, but there is also a correlation. So what are the conclusions of this work? First, it stimulates the workers to do improvement on their own process. It's your, your work routine that you can, you can do something to get better. It helps you promote the culture of continuous improvement, so everybody's doing. Why am I doing it? I want to be part of the group. It directs benefits on both production and, and productivity. The, risk, the waste reduction can also lead to an increase of work quality and safety. This is very important. Uh, but the number of Kaizen's group, as the number of the Kaizen's group, the effect it had on increasing the productivity and production rate would grow less. We feel this. The, the studies so advocates radical change followed by collective Kaizen's to promote a systematically continuous improvement. So we have to, to always push this burden. To avoid uh, mopping, let's, let's go to the out of time. And they have a message for you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. This, can I do it with you too? How can I do it with you too? Okay. Thank you very much.